हाउ टू एड योर डिजिटल प्रोडक्ट टू वू कॉमर्स येस वू कॉमर्स इज अ फ्री वर्ड प्लस प्लग इन एंड वर्ड प्लस इज अ फ्री प्लेटफॉर्म वेर यू कैन एक्चुअली सेल योर फिजिकल प्रोडक्ट और डिजिटल प्रोडक्ट लाइक इट्स नॉट लाइक सम अदर प्लेटफॉर्म हु रिक्वायर सम मंथली फीस फ्रॉम यू यू स्टार्ट सेलिंग ऑन देर प्लेटफॉर्म बट वर्ड प्लस इज अ सी एम एस यू कैन एक्चुअली गेट दैट फॉर फ्री एंड इंस्टॉल इट ऑन योर होस्टिंग एंड डोमेन एंड विदाउट पेंग एनी मंथली फी यू कैन जस्ट कीप सेलिंग योर प्रोडक्ट so in this video i'm going to show you step by step how you can actually add some digital product to your wordpress store so when someone visit your store and to cut those products and make payments so then those products will be automatically downloadable for those people who have purchased your product and not only this i will also show you live example of my store in this video on which i am getting regular orders from woocommerce as a digital product so people just pay me i get the money and they will be able to download my product right away without even contact acting me so if you want to learn this step by step then keep on watching this short video completely till the end so you can also learn this and you can also implement this on your store and sell your digital product as well to make a lot of money But before getting started I'm Ujjal and I run multiple online businesses like Amazon, eBay, Shopify, affiliate marketing and YouTube. That gives me financial freedom and allow me to travel the world without having any worry of 9 to 5 job. So if you also want this freedom to working remotely from anywhere in the world then make sure to subscribe to the channel to learn more about online earning for free. And if you're confused at where to start then you can just simply visit the link waystosellonline.com/start. So you can just find some useful material from there and get a complete road map from where to start. All right guys so as you can see here I am on my laptop right now and from here I have opened my website ways to sell online.com and if you go on my website you can see this is the home page and on the bottom left corner you can see this cart button and there is already one product added into my cart and on the top bar you can see the service button so if i click on that service button then i will be able to land on this page so basically this is my product page where i have listed all of the product from woocommerce plugin and these products are basically showing here so right now all of the products on my wordpress store all of the woocommerce product are digital not the physical because the main difference between these product are on the physical product if you get an order you have to physically ship that product to your customer but as you can see here these are digital product these are services like people pay me and i can actually optimize their product listing do the product research give them a consultation call and manage their ppc so none of these are physical product and if someone places the order i don't have to ship these product instead i have to fulfill their service so they can get the service against the money they pay so just like that if i want to sell a digital ebook or digital sticker wall art or planner or any e-commerce product so i can just add that product here and when someone go there add to cart that product and then check out that product after paying so they will be able to download that product so now let me just go back on my wordpress dashboard and show you how you can actually add these product right so if you go on your wordpress dashboard and click on dashboard so here you will be see the main page and on the left side if you go down you can see this woocommerce plugin by the way if you are not having that plugin installed so you can just simply go down and click on plugin and search for woocommerce and install it on your wordpress website just in one click so after installing if you go up you can see these three tabs woocommerce products and payment so basically woocommerce is a tab from where you can actually check the orders like you can see that i am already having four orders in queue and in the second section products you can just see all of the products and you can just add some product and now in the next section the payments you can see all of the overview of the payment and all of the deposits so if i just click on deposit so you can see that in my payment section i am having various payments right now this payment for 38 pound and 117 pound has been paid 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 and these two payments are in transit and this one payment is estimated like i will get this payment on 20 october and this payment on 19 and this is on 16 so this is how the wordpress payment system work i have added my bank account here so when any buyer made a payment so after 7 days i get that payment into my bank account so now let's just go on the product section and see how i can add a new product So if I click on add a new product then I will be able to see this form. So basically I have to scroll down and keep filling all of those value in the form like the product name, product description, I can add some images into description and then after filling out product name and description I need to go down and I need to fill this metadata like what are the focus keyword and how my service or product will look like if someone search for that service on Google. You can see that right now my product will look like this and if I fill out some data in this like slug meta description so this look will change from the SEO point of view. So now if you go further down here it comes the most important part for this product for the digital product here you can see that you can add the price like at what price you want to sell that product let's suppose 250 dollars 
And now as you can see there, this is a digital product, not a physical product. If this is a physical product, you can just go above and click on publish. So that product will get published. But right now we know that this is not a physical product. So here we have to go down on this product data and check on this downloadable button. So when I check, so it will ask me to add a file. So basically this will be a file that will be that digital product. So that can be a PDF file, that can be a JPEG file or a RAR file. So when you upload that file here and then publish that, so this will consider as a digital product, as a digital downloadable product. So when someone go on your website, add to cart that product and check out that product after making the payment. So after completing that page, they will be able to see the option to download that product. And then from there, they will be able to download that product, which you just upload here as an ad file. So if you're having your product, you can just add that product. And when you go up, you can just add your product image here, set product image, and then click on publish. So as soon as you click on publish, your product will be added into that page at bottom and will be live for purchase. So now at this point, I hope you have understand like how you can actually Actually add some products on your WooCommerce store as a digital or physical product. So right after watching this video, go there, add your product and keep increasing your product catalog so you can actually get more and more sales in future and make more and more money. So that's it for today guys. I hope you really enjoyed the video and learned something great from it. So if you find my content really informative and helpful for you, then make sure to like the video and subscribe the channel as well. So you can watch more and more videos like this in future. Let's meet in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.